and welcome to my first YouTube video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look. I've done a wee um, poll over on my Instagram, what you want to see, you guys want to see some of the colour fall for a change, you want to see a talk through, so this is what we've done. Um, I hope you enjoy it and if you like it, subscribe, give a wee thumbs up and a share, I love it. And I'm going to get some more videos like these done for you guys if you like them. Give me some recommendations of what you want to see and I'm sure I will. So if you want to know how to get this look, now just keep on watching with the eyes. Um, I'm not going to be doing my eyebrows first purely because um, my eyebrows have got fluffy brow in them just now so I've actually got con uh, conditioner in them. Conditioner, can I think of the same got conditioner in them and makeup and I'll do them at the end after foundation. So I'm just going to comb through my eyebrows anyway. My Doll Beauty um, brush kit. I'm going to use the flat brush, it kind of looks like this. And I'm going to take my Pre-Use Base. I'll use this as a base. This is shade 2. I think the big bottles only come in the shade 2. And I'm just going to go underneath the eyebrow and distribute the product all over the lid. I've never actually done my makeup with the fluffy brows on just yet, so this will be interesting to see what they look like without obviously any makeup and that on them. I'm from Georgia, I'm Brownie the Bull. I'll leave her Instagram in the description box. So as you can see, I'm pulling it right out and down on the cheekbone purely because in case I want to blow out my shadows, um, I always do this on everyone that makes the blend from foundation to eyes easier. So I'm just going to wipe all the excess off my brush um, on the back of my hand and I'm just going to pat all over just to make sure that it's starting to set. You want a tacky base, I never set this with powder. I'm taking my Buff and Blend um, Beauty Sponge and I'm just patting that over to ensure no creasing. Right, I think I'm going to do something with Neon Yellow. I'm going to go into my Stacey Marie Carnival XL Pro Palette. And I'm going to use the shade Showboat, which is like a tealy green, but it's like more bluey, so it's not a dark teal. And I'm going to literally just place that on like the middle portion, more towards like the outer third. And I'm going to pack that on. Not tapping off any excess. So this is why I always do my eyes first, because I like to pack on shadows before actually blending them. I've got some excess, which I'm just going to fluff over. A wee bit, I don't want to move the product too much. I'm just going to keep building it up. I'm going to take a small blending brush from the same palette and I'm going to take the colour Nuke, which is just below it in the palette. It's still the Stacey Marie one. Um, and this is like a darker teal. I'm just going to stick this in the outer corner. Again, packing it on. I'm using a smaller brush because I always say that darker the colour, smaller the brush. I think I'm going to keep this one quite rounded. Um, I have been liking the blown out kind of style recently but sometimes I feel my personal eye shape that I suit rounded a little bit more. Keep building it up, transition it in to that colour. Beaut colour. I'm just going to take it kind of through my crease a little bit. So I've got showboat colour. And I'm just going to lightly blend over the two. And this will just marry the two together. Now I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush. So this is a Ziva 227. And I'm just going to take this over the edge between the skin and the shadows. This just kind of blends out the harshness. Don't worry about your lower like area here either because we'll wipe that away. So I'm going to go back in with that darker colour called Nuke and I'm going to blend this one in a wee bit more and then I'm not putting any more product on the brush that I used Showboat with but I'm just going to use it to lightly buff over. Now I'm going to go in with a tiny brush this is a Zuma one, it's a pencil brush, but the number has wiped off because it's one of our old ones. And I'm going to go in with Lights Out, which is the black in the palette. And I'm literally just covering the tip of the brush. You don't want the sides to be too covered or it's going to end up putting it in places you don't want it. If you just use the tip and use the stamping 
and you just build it up bit by bit. So this is where I tap off a lot of my excess and I do build up black in stages because um, black can go quite wrong quite quickly. After I place quite a bit of black, I take the brush that I used, the colour next to black. Does that make sense? The, basically, I'm taking the colour I used, Nuke, the same brush, but I'm not putting any more on the brush. And I'm going to just lightly go over just to make sure that the black doesn't have a harsh edge either. Okay, going back and again with that brush. Take Showboat on the big fluffy brush again and go over the whole edge. And I'm going to go in with the neon. So I am going to be using, it's quite a messy one, but I've not actually, I've only used it I think once or twice. I'm going to use it in the inner and it is the Helen E neon pigment. I'm going to take a little brush it on. So obviously because you're sticking on to a sticky base you don't want to blend it or it's going to cause patchiness. So I just like to press these kind of matte pigments on. Pat it, it kind of gives you the colour peel off and it automatically blends for you as well. So it blends for you as patting well. it on. Going literally in a straight line. I'm not really caring about getting it blended just yet. So I'm going to pat it over the line of where the colour showboat and then the pigment's going to meet. So just create a blend for you. I'm just literally cleaning off the brush, so I've just got wet. And I'm just pressing it. Now I'm going to take the clean. Do that, 227, and we'll literally okay. just go now like I'm gonna wipe off. I'm not using the drop down, it's left, it's just yeah. now, so I can kind of get a better idea. You can get it right off. I'm now gonna take the so Barry M awesome. Pool and Down Holographic Topper, and this is in shade Supernova, it's shade number one. I'm literally gonna take a summer bath with my hand, which is mine, but. Because I use these for clients, so I'm just taking from that small beauty kit, just a small brush. I'm coating the brush, and I'm literally just going to go over, and you can still see the lid with that cool. hue of the neon color. And now that I've got less on, I kind of pat it on just places that I want it upwards. In with liner. Okay. Yeah. And lashes. So I'm using the Maybelline Liquid Ink Liner. I'm using it in some inner it's charcoal black. I've got, but there's all different blacks. I think there's like. My I never ever ever oh. apply strip lashes without a liner. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for lashes, I am going to use so a pair oh, that I've been um, using the most dramatic lashes that I kind of tend to use. Chill, Mitchell, Chill, Mitchell 2, that sort of thing, but they are quite large. Um, you don't want to spend time doing your eyeshadow for them Literally. to get completely covered. Sometimes it's easy to save though. Okay, so my lashes are going to start eye for this eye on So as you can see, and then I'm going to pop off do the other eye and then we'll be back for skin. The other eye and then we'll be back for skin. So, um, I don't I'm use a concealer, concealer space, please but please don't, don't get confused and think that this is what I use as a concealer. I literally use it to place the shadows and then it gets wiped away again. Right in at the nose, then tear it up and drop down. So I'm literally just using the side of my bead bender to try and pull that down. Start from outer to inner and I'm going to use again Doll Beauty, the short stubby kind of brush and I'm going to take the colour Shovel. Pack it on. 
up and the blend is Zoeva 227. I'm just gonna join it up. So I'm gonna use the color Nuke with the blend. I'm gonna take the Crown Beauty C471. And I'm just if you feel after. that goes a bit line, you just go back over my brush from your previous colour. Okay. I'm just gonna I'm blend. Just cover one side of my brush for this because you don't want it so to that when I want to put it into your horse eyelashes, you just put on. And I'm just gonna go from inner. Outer and it'll start to blend for you. Blend is so as you can see it made the blend for you. Okay. Just to tie in the eyes. So for waterline, I think we're gonna just go. I think, I think <laughs> I'm gonna use black. In the inner. And leave the middle clear. In. Middle. And I'm um, using the collection. Collection. Oh, <laughs> I think it's just like gel eyeliner. I don't think it's actually that specific. So that when I go to blend with the black shadow, that it kind of intensifies a bit. I'm going to take this. We I sometimes use it with a lip brush, but I often do use it with a black eyeshadow because it's so small. It's just like a bit of before you put on your mascara. I'm gonna use the P. Louise in Mimo Mitchell Club, and I'm gonna use the color Nitro. It's quite a tealy color, quite a bright blue, kind of ties in with what we're going for. Doing it on the black. Ties in with what we're going for. I'm going. And this just adds a wee something different. Complete for now. Um, and I'm going to pop off camera. And I'm going to pop off, do the other eye, and we will be back to do face. I go in with mascara. It's the Honey Cosmetics Double Effect Mascara. I think I actually got this. It's got three gift or something from them. So I'm just going to take my wipe and wipe off any of the base, um, pull down primer. I don't use primer, I'm going to be really honest and admit I don't use primer. Don't see the point in them, don't think they make any difference. Everyone's got different opinions on it, that's just mine. Um, I do like to use a thick moisturiser just because I think it does make your skin look more skin like, it does um, hydrate your skin if you're wearing heavy makeup. I use this is where my horrible French comes in. The Embryolis, Embryolis? I don't know, but it's this one. If I show you here. The Light Cream Concentrate. So this is a standard one. You do get a light one for those who don't want um, as heavy of a moisturizer. I do have really oily skin and this still works fab. I use this on every one. Back of my hand. And I take kind of your standard Kabuki kind of brush from Zoeva and I dip it in, I literally just... Now that I've put that over my face, foundation. Now, I get a lot of questions regarding foundations. Um, I do use a mix of different things. Um, I like Marge, I like Charlotte Tilbury, but I always seem to go back to Max U Fix fluid, wrongly. Um, I go back to these purely because it's what I trained with. Um, I trained with Makeup by YJ. So, that's what we were taught to use. NC20 and NC30 today. I'm not as tanned as I usually am. So NC20 is a little bit too light for when I'm tanned and things, but NC30 is a little bit too dark. So I'm just gonna mix two on the back of my hand. I'm gonna use more NC30 though, um, purely because it's just a wee bit lighter than me. I'm gonna two together on the back of my hand and I'm literally just gonna paint this on all over the face. I do use my Beauty Blender's dry. <laughs> Just a warning for those who hate people using beauty vendors down. I use them dry. I'm just gonna use a, another one of the buff and blend sponges. Actually pass it in. I'm 
Now I'm going to go on to concealer. So concealers I am going to use. I love the um, All Night Long from Barry M. I am using shade 3 Cookie and then I'm going to use shade 1 and mix it in. Purely because I couldn't find my shade 2. It's somewhere but I don't know where it is. I'm going to take the same beauty blender that I just used and I'm going to blend, use like the bum of it. I call them the bum because it's like a circle. <laughs> and I'm going to use the chin. Under the eye, I'm going to use like the slope. You get the slope side here. Blendy, blendy, blendy. The doggy in the RCMA. And I'm literally going across the line of where the eyeshadow and concealer meet. Not putting it over the rest of the face just yet. I'm going to actually cream contour. This is a favourite of mine recently. I wasn't a cream contour person, but now I am. <laughs> so I actually use the Revolution, I think it's just a stick foundation, the shade F13 on myself. Temples and under the lip. Pat over. The reason you pat is you don't want to move the product too much. So make sure when you're placing down your product that you are placing it where you want the most definition to be. This look kind of like a bit nuts until you get your powders on. And if you feel you've got like lineage going on, which I do, <laughs> I know I do, I just take this wee brush. I use it actually as a foundation brush sometimes. I don't really use foundation brushes, but when I do, this is what I use. And I'm literally just going to blend over it. I'm going to powder my whole face. Set that in place before we go and do powder, bronzer, blusher. RCMA again. Big fluffy brush. Again, Dolby Beauty set. And literally just pat. Use the Dolby Beauty Gimme Sun. This is shade medium. I do love this. Very similar to the MAC Minimalized Skin Finishes, but it's more matte, I would say. So I'm just taking this wee contour brush, because I don't officially do contour. Um, I don't like using cool tone against warm tone. I just like a tone that can suit both. And I'm just... This is where my horrible pronunciation comes in again. The Jordana Tisha? Tisa? It's an Instagram brand, so I mean, I'm literally going to use another Doll Beauty brush. I took the goat set, just in case anyone's wondering. You do get a synthetic set, I don't really rate synthetic brushes, so personal preference again, but just in case you're wondering. And I'm literally going to place this. Just like to put blusher kind of on my chin a wee bit, just to kind of give some like natural colour on my nose my secret weapon tip so i like everybody skin looking quite glowy but obviously i don't want it to look oily um blusher i like that blusher because it's got a sheen to it but i found a little tip that i've been using and i think it actually makes just a wee bit of a difference well i think it does but who knows so this product actually it was a p louise um highlighter that she brought out but I never actually got to stores so it was a free gift that I was sent when I bought um pay, I think it was a few bases from her and she never ended up actually releasing it so I actually used this and it is like pinky it's quite a pinky highlighter but it's gold reflect I use my blusher brush and I don't use a lot of it because it is quite pigmented I literally go on my apples and my cheeks with a smile and go here make your cheekbones more prominent and like peachy looking. The Doll Beauty highlighter palette. I've got the small palette that Stacey kindly gave to me and I've also got the full palette full of all the shades. I'm going to go in with Shine Bright and Like a Diamond. Mix the two on this Doll Beauty brush. I kind of just dip my like hand in them all. And I'm like, just gonna go. Literally just on the very, very top of the cheek. Then I'm gonna go on my nose. I like a wee tin man nose, I must admit. Again, not everyone's cup of tea, but 
I do like it. And then I'm going to go on the bridge of my nose a wee bit, just to add some dimension to the face. And then the chin, above the eyebrow. Just above the cubist spot, I like to put more of the lightest shade because I think that enhances it the best. It's look a bit stupid till you get your lipstick in that on, but I use a satin spray. Now I do this before I do like lips and stuff, just because I think that my skin's finished, lock it all in place. I am using the Avon Magics, Magic, Magics? It's a Mark Satin Spray. It's only like six pounds, but it's amazing. Oh, <laughs> my unprofessional fan. I look a big, thick, barreled mascara though. I don't like to use the thinner ones for this. So, I'm going to take off some of my excess. I'm using the same Helene mascara and I'm literally just going to brush through. I don't know if that's even in focus. We'll figure it out. Such a dramatic eye going on. I don't want to do anything too dramatic on the lips. Um, I do wear nude face the whole time anyway, sometimes red, if I'm feeling pushing the boat out. I was going to do black lips today, but I think that's maybe a bit too much for the eyes and it's also not wearable. But if you want to wear it, then fab, but it is amazing for photos. Love a black lip. So, I'm going to take the, before I drop it, um, Peaches and Cream Lip Liners. They take these out and they're amazing. Total dupes for the MAC ones. Um, and it's in the shade Feline. So it's kind of lighter. I do use punchline quite a lot, but this is more of a pinky one. And I'm literally just gonna line my lips. Like so. I'm gonna take the Daw Beauty lipstick. And this is in the shade, um, Come To Mama, favorite nude. I can't leave it matte, which is quite a look just now, but I do like a gloss personally. Um, but again, personal preference, you could leave it this, you can add a gloss. Um, lip colour is quite optional, it really suits a different shade I need, so it's quite hard to say, but this is my favourite kind of shade. This peach and cream gloss, I think it's uh, Dream On, I think. It's dropped off the back, but I think it's Dream On. Um, but I got these in their kit, they do. They do, I think it's five of their lip glosses in a kit. They're not sticking out at all either. It's amazing. And that is us. So I'm just going to take down. Oh god, it's going to be a bit nuts now. This is the finished look. Thank you for watching, and I'll maybe get some of these done, some more of them. And I'll see you all soon. Any recommendations or anything for different products you want to see or different videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll try and get as much done for you. Um, but if you like this, give it a wee thumbs up and a share and I will see you all soon.